Hey Facebook, I'm Nick Maslow with Entertainment Weekly. Joining us today is the wonderful Johnny Galecki, oh, whose new you. movie, Rings, hits theaters on Friday, February 3rd. I saw it the other day. Oh, did you? Cool. It really creeped me out. Did it? Good. That's the point. <laughs> yeah. How would you compare it to the other Ring films? Um, wow. I, I, you know what? To be honest with you, I didn't see the second one. I saw the first one. I loved it. And Naomi Watts is so fantastic in it. Yeah. And I loved that a lot of the scares were on her reaction, not necessarily blood and guts and gore. Mm -hmm. uh, and I liked how it was shot. I thought it was shot very elegantly. And I think, I think we've done that. I think the cinematographer did a great job and looks really beautiful. So um, um, I, think, I think it compares well in those manners. Yeah, um, set it up for Emma us a little great. bit. I think she's been great in the film, too, in the same way that Naomi was in the first. So, Oh, yeah, excellent energy on screen. Yeah, yeah. set it up for, for us a little bit. What's the premise of this one? Uh, it, obviously, you know, it started with a VHS tape, so they had to address that. Uh, right. <laughs> and uh, I play a character named Gabriel, who's a, a professor of biology, uh, but has many other... Um, interests and uh, he finds a, a, a the old VHS tape and probably without putting enough thought into it digitalizes it and um, but with good intention as the the academic he is he wants to kind of hopes that this will be the key to understanding life and death and the afterlife and whatnot and kind of builds this little subculture of his students at the university to uh, to to help him do that and kind of guinea pig and uh, one another with uh, kind of tossing this curse back and forth so that they can study it in the meantime. Right, yeah, he plays a special role in the drama. If yeah, I mean, I think uh, like a lot of, I don't think he's a villain necessarily, but um, there was an element to him that I, I, I liked and that I always go back to Nurse Ratchet as kind of my favorite villain of all time from One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. And she's terrifying because she thinks she's doing good. She thinks she's helping people, and, mm -hmm. and she's not. She's putting them in a great deal of, of harm and danger, and that seems to be the case with him. Right. If you had to show someone the tape... Mm. Who would it be? Yeah, who would it be? <laughs> <laughs> You're asking, Anyone in the yeah, world. This is a, ba a bad day to ask me that question. I'll get. <laughs> <laughs> in other news. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, interesting way to pivot that. Um, My brother, obviously. <laughs> My brother and I have had a little spat this morning. No. Oh, really? No. <laughs> <laughs> Your brother better not click on any links in his email from this point forward. Um, how did you react to seeing the film? Because I know, like, the people with me in the theater were, like, moving about a little bit. Did you jump at all when you saw it, or...? Uh, yeah, there's a... I like that. I like to be startled but, uh, you know, in this genre. I don't like to, uh, to be traumatized, but I like a good, a good, a good scare, a good jolt. So, uh, and I think it certainly has those. Absolutely. Um, what are your favorite parts of the film? Oh, well, obviously all my scenes. It's just, no, I'm kidding. It's, it's hard to watch uh, stuff that I've been in. I was really, again, impressed with Matilda. I think she's, she's a wonderful young actress. I think she's going to go far. She really, she really drives and carries the story. So yeah, I think she should be very proud. Yeah. Now, of course, this isn't your first scary movie. Mm. In fact, I know what you did last summer celebrates its 20th anniversary in October. Wow. Can you believe that? that 20 true? years? That, yeah, that makes sense. Um, looking wow. back on that, what's your, what's your favorite memory? Um, Great cast in that film. Uh, I, you know, it's one that I actually wasn't present for, but we had done, uh, there was a, my character is, is found <clears throat> dead in a trunk. The Jennifer Love Hewitt character is, finds, finds a, uh, my body, when I crawl, a crab crawls out of my, my mouth and finds, oh. so we had to do a mask, a whole <laughs> body cast for it in Los Angeles, and I think they were shooting in North Carolina or something at the time, and I wasn't there yet, but my corpse was, <laughs> and I had known Jennifer since, and still do know her, since she was maybe nine years old or something like that, and we hadn't seen each other in years, and 
she they she didn't want the director didn't want her to see the the, the cast until she opened the trunk and the film was rolling and when she did uh, it upset her so much that she needed an hour and they had to shut down production and I got a oh. phone call saying that and I was sorry that it shut down production but at the same time it was so dearly sweet and flattering that it upset her to see me that way so much even though it, she's an actress and she knows all the all the tricks and the magic but uh, I thought that was very very sweet and I, I never let her forget it. Yeah, that's touching in an interesting way, right? <laughs> yes. And that's such a rare thing for someone to experience, like seeing a cast of themselves. Oh, like... yes. Well, doing the actual cast is even more <laughs> odd. That's uh, You really have to go to your zen place for about a half an hour while they do that. Right, because you, no. can't, you can't move at all? No, or... and you're breathing through straws in your nose, and it's pretty, it's, it's, it's pretty rough. Yeah, if you're claustrophobic wild. whatsoever. Yeah. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about Roseanne. Like so many sure. people, you know, we grew up watching mm -hmm. that show and all the reruns. Do you stay in touch with your co-stars? Yeah, well, Sarah Gilbert's been on Big Bang quite a few times. Laurie Metcalf has as well. Um, I actually spent my last birthday dinner in New Orleans with John Goodman, and um, I plan to see him here in New York while I'm here. Uh, and Rose and I just happen to run into each other once in a while, and when we do, yeah. we always spend the rest of the night catching up and chatting so yeah yeah how's she doing she seems wonderful yeah I had never I, it's hard to keep up with her uh, with the, whatever uh, she, political uh, turmoil that she, <laughs> that she right. has to, to uh, but she's she's a, a genius she's such a brilliant mind yeah uh, Big Bang Theory what do you think is next for Penny and Leonard I think they're in a rough patch right now. I think, and I like the point that that's making that, you know, getting married doesn't lock you into happiness and answer all the, the questions that are going to arise between two people. Um, so uh, they're, they're working on it. They're working hard on it. But I, I love that stuff. I love those scenes. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think is next for the guys in their military project? Boy, I really don't know. We did we uh, the the show that we did. Um, Tuesday night with the live audience um, was very much about that. Uh, that's a lot of technical jargon and stuff to learn. So um, I hope they finish it up sooner than later. <laughs> yeah. I'd rather get back into the apartment and, and, and fight with Penny than play in the laboratory. <laughs> um, do you think that we'll get to see the guy's reaction to Rogue One? Uh, it's mentioned in this episode. They seem to be fans. Yeah. Yeah. That's all I'll say, yeah. Um, and you know, looking to the future, how long do you see yourself doing Big Bang? I don't know. Um, we're very much talking about that right now. Um, and it seems that the writers are very confident and excited that they can write some more after this year, um, which is an incredible testament to them. I mean, we uh, the last episode we did was number 222, so. That's a lot of stories to come up with 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 these seven characters. So, um, if they're confident that they can do more, then then uh, then I know that we're still having a great time with it on on stage. So, um, hopefully, a bit longer. Yeah. Yeah. And do you think there's more to your character's story to be said? That was my question to the writers, <laughs> and so uh, they say they say yes. I mean, again, kind of back to the, what I was talking about and. Uh, Leonard and Penny and the, the the trials that they're having in their marriage. It's so nice to, I mean, if you if if the if the writing is is rich enough to kind of go down that road. A lot of characters once they get married, they kind of get shuttled aside, like oh, they're then now they're just the married couple. But um, these characters have been made even more complicated by their by their union. So um, I'm excited. Absolutely. And then I'm, when, when we're done, then I'm going to come here because you guys have. I'm going to work here. You have an well, he's going to work view. at EW. You got a chef. Yeah, I'm coming here. <laughs> That's a great place to work. Does this fold out? I'll I'm pretty sleep. sure. What? Why do you want to sleep on it too? <laughs> <laughs> Save money on New York yeah. rent at the same time. <laughs> sure. I'm pretty sure if you want to come to work at EW, you're welcome. I would last half a week here. Anytime. I'm I'm, I'm horrible to work with. Really? Why is that? No, I'm making stuff up. <laughs> I mean, because you've been part of some not. great ensemble casts, so I imagine you're like well, a good I, team I mean, player. You know, 10 years on the show, it's a small group of people that have been in the same room for well over a thousand days now. And then when you count press stuff and travel together and stuff like that, it's really, it's, it's, 
it's an amazing feat that uh, the, the chemistry is still so good. And Absolutely. it's not one that, it's not a recipe you can you can create. It's either there organically or not. And st we still love each other a, a whole lot. Yeah. How did you find the time to make the film in the midst of the show? Did you do it when, during the summer? Or? It wasn't easy, but it wasn't hard. Yeah, it was over a summer, but I, I we finished that season of Big Bang, and I just I was on a plane immediately to to Atlanta where we shot. Um, it was tougher on the film's schedule because they had to kind of backload all all mm. of my stuff into the last I think three weeks of the of the movie shoot, which was incredibly generous of, of them to do. But uh, I like to work, so it was. Uh, um, it was it was a lot of fun. I'm, yeah. happy, I'm happy they've made it work. Yeah. Looking forward, is this a genre that you want to explore more, or are there other new things you want to do on film? Um, I've never really thought about, uh, you know, I'd really like to do a love story or a comedy or a, a horror film. It's it's more about the character for me than, than the genre. Um, and, you know, I'm not complaining. I, I love my job, but and uh, you know, but horror movies are, are are a lot more work than I think people uh, assume. There's so much technical stuff going on, and um, so there there are long you know, long days and long nights of, of, of shooting that stuff because it has to be. It's mostly in the cinematography. It has to. You know, there's generally a lot of stuff going on with fog and moonlight and you know all the, those yeah. things need to be choreographed and come together in one in one picture and so uh it's 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 not my favorite genre to work and i've been spoiled in theater and on the tv show so um yeah and especially the older i get the the, the less 18 hour days seem to be uh, to be uh romanticized in my in my mind that does sound exhausting yeah it's a little exhausting again much worse jobs out there. I'm not complaining whatsoever, but um, yeah. Well, now we get to see the results of your hard work. Uh -huh. uh, Rings opens in theaters on Friday, February 3rd. Thank you for joining us. Thank you really very much. appreciate Thanks it. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Hope you can survive the weather. Although you said you're from no, Chicago, I'm from, right? Yeah, I'm not even wearing my hoodie.